Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Java Data Structures and Algorithms course. And today I am going to implement Java linked link list base set. And this tutorial will teach you how you can implement a set using a linked list. Thank you guys. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and promote the content. of set data structure set is a linear data structure set stores unique elements of the same data type set can be implemented using an array or a linked list array can be fixed array size or we can use a dynamic array that will grow its size or resize it itself whenever it requires more memory Sorted set maintains ascending order of its elements. All the elements must be unique and they are in ascending order. Set contains special functions. For example, union, intersection, difference of sets, complement of a set, disjoint sets, and proper subsets. These functions are not available in other data structures. So these are special for the sets. Time complexity insertion because set can be implemented using different data, data structures behind the scenes. So if we implement array based data structure, so it will have a best case O1 and O1 happens if the array, if the set is empty, then we have average and worst case scenario link list based set has O1 when the set is empty, ON when the insertion is carried out at the end of the set. So we have to navigate to the end of the set and insert the new element. We can achieve O1 runtime for insertion at the end if we add another instance field to, to keep track of the tail node within the set. So we can use that tail node and insert instantly at the end of the set and we can achieve O1 runtime. It all depends on the design pattern that you will adopt to implement the set. In the case of insertion into a sorted set, the runtime complexity will be O n scale because you have you always have to navigate in the array, locate a location and then have to shift the elements towards right to make a hole within the array and then insert the new element there. So O n is the complexity for the for searching for the correct location and O n again we have to shift the elements. So it will become O n scale runtime for the average and the worst case of insertion within the array sorted array. In case of link, sorted link, linked set this insertion will be carried out within O n time, where n is the number of elements we have to search to locate a correct location to insert the new element. Same way, if we are implementing set using an array, the, the deletion will be O1. In case the set has single element and removed from the front of the set. Otherwise, if this is not the case, the complexity will be O n for average and worst case scenarios because we have to shift the elements to fill the hole created by the by removing the elements from the underlying array. In the, in the same case, the same case for linked list. If we implement set using a linked list, the runtime is ON if the element is removed from the front of the set. In case of average and worst cases, they will happen when we have to search for the element. If element exists somewhere between the linked list, we have to iterate to locate and then remove the element and its complexity is ON. In case of using the additional field tail in the linked list, we can achieve O1 for the removal of an element from the end of the set because in that case, we do not have to iterate or traverse the linked list that is storing the element behind the scene and we can directly access the last node and remove it. Search. 
सर्च इज सिक्वेंशियल आर लीनियर फॉर अनसर्टेड सेट्स नो मैटर वेदर वो यूज आर ए बेस इंप्लीमेंटेशन और आर लिंक लिस्ट बेस इंप्लीमेंटेशन सो रन टाइम इज ओ वन इफ द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज द सर्च एलिमेंट आर द सर्च की अदरवाइज वी हैव टू यूज ओ एन complexity in case of average and worst case scenarios in sorted array based set implementation if we are implementing array sorted set using an array we can utilize binary search which is way faster than on and its complexity is o log n but this binary search is very hard to implement in case of linked list based implementation so it is only useful if we are utilizing array for the sorted set accessing the size of the set is o1 always because we can directly return the number of elements stored within the set and print function o1 if there is one element o and otherwise in best and worst cases n is the number of elements stored within the set so print has linear run time that is o n thank you guys that is all let's start the code and again if you have not already subscribed the channel please subscribe thank you hello guys i have created java net means application to implement linked list based set data structure i have created three classes this class linked list set app this will be used to test the implementation of the set class node class that will represent a single node within the set class and this is the set class that i am going to implement with the set functions so let's begin with node class so data field private int data and reference to next node that's it we need a constructor to initialize the instance fields public node and let's say we pass data to it this dot data is equal to data and this dot next is equal to null okay constructor to set up the node with data to hold okay now we can create getter and setter methods using insert code and select getter and setter and select both the fields and generate so we have over getter and setter methods okay that's it guys we need to this class is enough to 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 serve our need in the set implementation okay so let's add head of the set or front of the set whatever you want to name it private node and let's say head and count of elements private int count constructor semicolon public set so we initialize empty set this dot head is equal to null and count is equal to zero okay now the basic functions and here we will add basic functions and then we will add set functions okay okay basic functions 
we need add function we need remove function size function and exist or let's say find function and is empty function we do not need is full function because this is link list based application so let's start with public boolean add int value public boolean remove int value size public int size and return count we need print function also public void print okay now this function is empty public boolean is empty return head is equal to null so if the set is empty print a message this set is empty and return otherwise print the elements as out let's say note grunt is equal to head and percentage d grunt dot get data and current is equal to grunt dot get next now loop to the end of the set grunt is not equal to null so we will print it comma space and navigate and at the end closing bracket s out and that's it this will print set like 1 2 3 4 and that is how it will print the set okay now let's move to find function public boolean find int value okay if empty we return false if this dot is empty return false because there is nothing to find okay now node current is equal to head while current is not equal to null move till the end of set if found or exist if current dot get data is equal to value so we return true simple here navigate to the next element is equal to current dot get next okay if we reach here value not found return false 
that's it this is our find function very simple linear search if we found the element we return true if it does not exist we return false okay now the add function case one empty set so what we will do number one we first create node 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 is equal to new node and pass the value if this dot is empty we set the head to the node increase count okay now and we can return from here return true okay now the set is not empty so what we need manage the uniqueness of elements so if not find value let's say we find the value so if we find the value already exist within the set we return false and do nothing because set only contain unique elements now set does not contain it we have to insert it so we insert it at the end of the set so insert at the end of set so node current is equal to head loop while current dot get next is not equal to null it means it will lead to last node in the set so navigate to the next current dot get next okay now set the node to the last next node of the last node so current dot set next is equal to node increase the count that's it and we return true because it is inserted and saved within the set okay now guys main function remove first of all check if this dot is empty return false because there is nothing to remove if empty return false nothing to remove okay now if it is head node so what we will do if head dot get data is equal to value so we assign heads next node to the head head is equal to head dot get next okay and what we will do reduce the count and return true now if the element is somewhere between the set somewhere between the set so node current is equal to head and pre is equal to null so we navigate while current dot current is not equal to null if current dot get get data is equal to value find the node navigate update pointers v is equal to current and current is equal to current dot get next so here we will swap the next pointer so please next will become crunch next so pre dot set next current dot get next reduce count minus minus and return true it is removed
okay if you reach here at the end of the function value does not exist return false this is our removal function from the set so we i first we check empty remove uh, there is nothing to remove so we return false and then we check the head node its data is same so it it will be removed and if it exists somewhere between the set we navigate linear in a linear traversal and remove the element if it exists otherwise we return false that's it these are all over basic functions in the set so let's implement the set functions okay set functions union of two sets intersection of two sets and difference of two sets complement of two sets and are two sets this joint and there is another function that is if set a is proper subset of b okay let's implement these functions first function is union of two sets so public set union and set b so what we will do create new set so new set is set new set is equal to new set okay iterate and insert all elements of current set into new set so node current is equal to head navigate while current is not equal to null so what we will do new set dot add current dot get data and navigate current is equal to current dot get next okay now for the second set insert all the elements from set b no need to check for duplicate because add function handles it already here if data already exist mm, oh sorry it's remove function this is add function if data already exist case 2 data exist do not add okay so iteration current is equal to b dot head and loop while current is not equal to null so what we will do do the same thing new set dot add current dot get data so it will add only if not already there navigate that's it and we return the new set that is our union function algorithm is create new set and iterate the first set insert all the elements from the first set into the new set then start with 
first element in the second set and loop and insert all of them into the new set. The add function handles duplicates and new set will have only the unique elements from both the sets. Now the public set intersection set B. Okay, same way create new set. Okay, now loop all the elements of first set. If that element exists in set B, take it to add into new set. That is over intersection. So node current is equal to head loop while current is not equal to null so check check it is in b also if b dot find current dot get data so we will add it to the new set dot add current dot get data so that will create over intersection set navigate current is equal to current dot get next to point to the next element so return the new set Okay, now difference public set difference set B. This will return A minus B. So the difference of two sets. This will return A A let's say 1 2 3 and b is equal to 3 5 7 so a minus b will be 1 and 2 3 will not be part of a minus b because 3 exist within the set b so all the elements that exist within b are removed from the set a to make to make it a minus b so we declare new set now we loop for the set a elements that is node current is equal to head and looping current is not equal to null so if element does not exist in b take it and add to new set if not b dot find current dot get data so we add it to the new set new set is equal to new set dot add current dot get data so this will create over a minus b and we return it return new set add navigation here to, to traverse the set current dot get next otherwise this loop will become an infinite loop okay this is our difference function now the complement of two sets complements complement of a set so public set complement 
set a so here how it works current set is universal set let's say 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then we have set a set a is 1 2 and 5 so complement of a will be elements that are not in a but they are in universal set so it becomes 3 and 4 and 6 so let's create new set okay loop elements from the set a node current is equal to a dot head loop current is not equal to null so if instead of a we loop the universal set so if element does not exist in a add it to complement set if not a dot find run dot get data so we add it to the complement set new set dot add current dot get data and move to next node current is equal to dot get next so this is how we will create complement of a set I return new set okay now how we check public boolean is disjoint set b Ch check if current set and set b are disjoint disjoint are the sets that have no common element okay let's do an example a is equal to 1 3 5 and b is equal to 2 4 and 6 even and odd numbers so complement they are disjoint because there is no common no common element so how we will do it navigate current set node current is equal to head loop while current is not equal to null so if element exist in b they are not disjoint if b dot find current dot get data so we return false move to the next node current dot get next that's it and we reach here these sets are disjoint return true now the final function proper subset so a proper subset is a set whose all the elements exist within other set okay public boolean is proper subset set b let me check my message so we will loop the set b so node current is equal to 
b dot head loop current is not equal to null so if any one element of set b does not exist in the other set set a or current current set to b is not a proper subset of set a so if not find is equal to current dot get data so we return false indicate not a subset so next check next element get next and here return true the the set b is proper subset of a that's it guys these are over set functions i have implemented six set theory functions union intersection difference complement is dis disjoint and is proper subset so let let's test them now okay let's create sets okay, set a is equal to let's say set u is equal to new set set a is equal to new set and set b is equal to new set okay u is universal set so we insert 1 2 3 4 5 6 and i think that's enough so u dot add 1 and I'll copy Two, three, and four, and five, and six. We can loop also, but just for the sake of simplicity, I am adding like this: a sum a is equal to let's say one, two, three, and let's say mm, two and six. A dot add one. A dot add two. A dot add six and B remaining elements and one of the common elements. Let's say two and three and four and five and six. Okay, B dot add two. Three four and five and six okay let's print them s out set u u dot print s out set a a dot print s out and let's say set b and b dot print now let's test the functions okay first union let's say set r is equal to a dot union b so we print s out union of a and b so r dot print let's run it okay so this is our union of two sets so we have a set a one two and six and set b is two three four five six 
so their union is 1 2 6 three elements from set a then the elements not in a but in b two is in a so it is not added again three and four and then five so this is how set maintains its uniqueness in the elements that are stored within it and union is the result of adding all the elements from both the sets that are unique now intersection so set let's say r is equal to a dot intersection b so it will only contain common elements that are within a and b okay let's run it so this is our set a and this is our set b and the common elements are 2 and 6 and these are the two common elements and all the other elements are discarded so the difference now difference r is equal to a dot difference b it will only contain elements from a that are not in b I think it, it's supposed to be 1. Let's see. Difference of A and B. So let's run it. Okay, yes. A minus B. There is only, A only contain 1 as an element that is not within set B. So it is the difference of A minus B. Now the complement. Complement of A. R is equal to U dot complement. U is the universal set. So you have all the elements. And we print it. complement of a so let's see what happens okay so set a is 1 2 and 6 and set universal set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 it has all the numbers from 1 to 6 so the complement of a should contain 3 4 and 5 and 1 2 and 6 are not included in the complement of a so this is our result 3 4 and 5 now disjoint s out is a and b are disjoint sets no they are not because they have a common element a dot is dis disjoint b now complement sorry proper subset so s out a is proper subset of u because they are because u contains all the elements and it is a universal set so u dot is proper subset b now let's check with a a is proper subset of B. No, it is not. So let's run it. So is A and B are disjoint sets? No, they are not because they have common element. A is a proper subset of U. Oh, oh sorry. B is always a same. A set is always its own sub proper subset so uh, change it to a so a is proper subset of u yes it is true a is proper subset of b no it is not because there is one element in a that is not in b that is one that's it guys this is the implementation of set data structure using a linked list and 
I have implemented six set of functions other than the basic data structure functions like add, remove, find, print, and checking the number of elements within the data structure. And please, if you have not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel and promote the content. And if you have any question or want to know something, you can comment, I will reply. Thank you. Have a very good day and see you in the next video. Thank you guys.